today I'm gonna revisit the first marble machine, so I'm heading over to mainland and Karin and Olaf from Malmö, the engineers, are gonna come up and we're gonna take measurements on the old machine so we can make a model of the old machine in CAD and see how things were put together and we're also gonna look at some of the problems that made the first marble machine not work. Engineers from Malmö. Welcome to Gothenburg. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> and uh, the marble machine is this way. So let's go there. Seven months since I touched it. <laughs> ah, it feels nice that we're gonna build a better one. And you're studying uh, engineering? Yeah. yeah. It's uh, called product development and design, but it's kind of a mix between mechanical engineering and like a little bit of product design. Hmm. Cool. So, yeah. That sounds very because this is really also a lot of design involved. Yeah, Let's good. start. It's like we start uh, like a so long project. It's starting yeah. here and wow. now a little bit. That's how it feels. Okay. So uh, box side seventy nine centimeters. Seventy nine. Box height thirty. Mm -hmm. Fifteen centimeters. 810, 360, 55 millimeters in on Z axis, 110. These are coasters, cork coasters. This was the snare drum, the same coasters used for the kick drum. Snare drum with rice in it. But we have to come up with something better than, than, than cork which dries out like this. So, bye bye kick drum. <laughs> Why did I do that? I could have saved it for the museum. This marble machine is actually gonna go to a Dutch museum. Very, very likely so. We have not agreed totally yet, but it's gonna go to the museum where I got the inspiration to build it in the in this spring. So I have to disassemble this whole thing to get it out of the door and then drive it to Holland and assemble it again there. And I have to build a new coaster since I just ruined this one. Fantastic, Martin! <laughs> Way to go! <laughs> So, this is my friend Steven. I got this idea the other day that I should mix different wood types. And so I, I took some scrap material and put it on top. And then I took some other scrap material and rounded out the edges just like that. So it, I'm not sure though. Let's see if it works. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's it cool. Does. Yeah. It's, it's okay. Super cool. Yeah. It was a fun project.
the vibraphone system is opening and closing like this. And on a real vibraphone, here you have circuits that are opening and closing like that. So. And I think it would be cool on the Marmon Machine X if we could have some kind of pipes under with this vibrating system instead of this. And then another thing that we have to think of is, is if we can really afford to have an individual funnel for every note, because I think that's a very important thing for the visual that you see when you hit this note, that this funnel vibrates like mm. this. Do you have an idea of how to do that? If we should stick with this or what should we do? Yeah. But the most practical would probably be to just have like one, one big vat to collect it all, but it's, yeah. it's true that it's a lot more visually interesting to have it this way. Yeah. yeah. That's the compromises we have to do between like what would be easiest to build. Yeah, and what would look prettier. Yeah. yeah. Here, Hannes is a good example of why the machine stopped working. These are the rubber bands. <laughs> I'm gonna try to stretch them. Oh, <laughs> so on the next machine is only gonna be metal springs. Mm. Yeah. Hannes, I actually have a gift for you. What? Come with me. Me and Hannes were to an award gala uh, for a music video this uh, yesterday. And I wanted to bring the prize home, but Hannes has a cooler studio, so I'm actually gonna give it to Hannes Studio. Mm. Director Hannes Knutsson. My name on something. That's gonna look good in your film studio. Oh yes! So, you're building guitars, right? I am, yeah. Yeah, Ted Estran. So, Hi. Ted moved in, after I moved out from here, Ted moved in. And he has turned my place where I built the marble machine into something fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been here since. So this is a... Well, half of a guitar. It's still oh, in its ooh. dirty stages, I guess. That's a Brazilian Rosewood OM model. So cool to just walk <laughs> in and the place is totally changed. I wish I could be as neat as you are. Oh, okay. yeah. And this, this is the template. Did yeah. you make this template? I did, yeah. So I've got different templates for different sizes and different models I'm building. So this is the shape of the guitar. So that's basically half of the guitar. Yeah, okay. Um, so cool. All right. This is uh, Matthias Vandel's gear generator program. And this round shape was almost impossible to cut out on the bandsaw by hand when you make 100 teeth. But what we hope now, when we're gonna cut them out on the CNC machine, that we're gonna have perfect involute gears. So all the gears on the whole Marble Machine X will be silent and smooth. Mm -hmm. in a way that my hand-cut gears never could have been. There's a lot of people sending me emails with suggestions and that's wonderful, but it's very hard to read the emails. So I have started a photo sharing place where if you have any suggestions for Marble Machine X, you can go in there and share your sketches. So if we keep it to sketches, it's so fast to see the IDs, whereas reading long explanations, it's quite hard to understand. So I'm super happy for all the suggestions and there have already been some suggestions that have changed our plans. So we're really listening to the suggestions. So I put a link to this photo sharing page in the description. We have a th fourth member of the core group of the engineering team of the Marble Machine X now. And his name is Marius. So, uh, Marius, uh, where, where are you from, actually? So, I'm uh, from Bavaria. I'm, I'm currently living in Munich, and I'm studying here mechanical engineering. Okay, cool. How come you become interested in, in being part of this project? So, um, I found the original Marble Machine video when it came out and was so fascinated by the mechanical structure of it that it, everything, the programming, everything was mechanical and no no uh, electrical or pneumatic programming was done. And that just amazed me and uh, inspired me to do something, to try to do something similar, but that never got off the ground. And then you asked for help with the new 
marble machine and I thought, yes, yeah. <laughs> here's my chance to do something similar. And I submitted uh, an idea for the trigger mechanism. Yeah, because when I saw your sketch, what I was so impressed with was that you could, you actually removed several parts of the whole mechanism and still had the same functions. So I, from the start, I saw that your idea was very efficient. And it was fun because immediately when I saw your sketch, I just emailed you. Uh, mm -hmm. Then we started work together on, on the Marble Machine X, actually. So that was yeah. that was very fun. Do you remember the sketch from Alexei Ivanov, Marius? Uh, yeah. Well, that was a rather nice one. That the gravity works towards the goal of uh, muting the system or unmuting the system and not against it. And I think that's a very ele elegant solution and solves the most of, of, of the problem of either mine or your prototype. And I saw you made a nice Hofner base. Yeah, um, that was the first component I could make because I had some dimensions and some uh, some idea how it should look like. Um, Karin and yeah. Olof were uh, looking at the old machine, I think, on the, on the weekend, yes. and brought back some measurements and maybe some photos they can share so that we can somewhat base the, the new machine on the old one. Yeah, the, what you're just doing there looks a lot like the thing I was drawing here. Uh, <laughs> and is it a vibraphone standing under the desk? Yeah, it's a oh, wow. I... dismantled vibraphone currently because I have to re, uh, redo the muting mechanism. Okay. There's, uh, <laughs> So you so also I've... have mute mechanism problems in your house. Just like yeah. me. <laughs> That's funny. To have you to discuss with and to have Karin and Olaf and also to help me out with this. It's it's just so much fun. So welcome to the project and thanks so much for being part of it. No problem. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of fun and it's going to be... Yeah. I, I hope that you can come on the world tour then and be the one that reprogramming the machine, you know, in in this big white suits with safety oh, goggles yeah. on and stuff. <laughs> there's, I think there's somewhere on the internet there's a picture of me playing with fire in a white coat ah. in a laboratory. <laughs> so <laughs> Perfect. So now we have all the measurements and Karnanov is going to go to Malmö and start doing the cutting. Mm -hmm. And I just want to take the opportunity to say thanks for you wanting to be part of this project. Thank, Thank you, you for, for being having a us. part. Yeah, it's like really nice. So I was sending an email to them. I was sending like an over emotional email the other day where I felt like that I felt so lucky to not be by myself this time. Yeah. To hey. have Hannes was part. <laughs> Hannes was. <laughs> Hannes was big part of the video last time. But he didn't help me with the gear ratios a lot. So now I have help with the video and I have help with the gear ratios from Karin, Olaf and Marius and from all you who are sending in suggestions. So if you want to follow this whole build, subscribe where there's where I can put a subscribe button in this end screen. <laughs> and uh, thanks so much for watching. See you on the next Quinty on Wednesday.